I do it all the time. I take ideas from, from a lot of different people and see if it fits with what we do. So. You mentioned guys going down and plugging guys in. Is this as comfortable as you as you've been with the depth? In the program? Yeah, most definitely, and we've been we've been gearing towards it for quite some time. That's a you know hadn't hadn't had to talk about it a whole lot because we we've, we've been really good at, at guys going in next man up going in and, and playing like Kelby Wickline did, like Zach Sandwich did, Shea Campbell. Um, you know, uh, it, it, so it's been good, and I just think that's where we're at as a program. Four or five, six years ago, going into the Big 12, not being very good because we weren't very deep because our depth wasn't very good. <laughs> you know, seven years later, uh, in a much better place. And, and, and there's a lot of reasons why we're in the situation that we're in right now. But you're only as good as your next game, and we got to line up, practice hard, and play hard to go, uh, to, to go try and win. But uh, I do like where we're at from a depth perspective. At this Including your team, is this as deep as you've seen the Big 12 at receiver? Uh, yeah, it, yeah, it's pretty good. I, there is, I saw that Blitnikoff list come out, and there was a couple of offensive guys in the Big 12 that didn't get on that thing, and I'm like, geez. There's better receivers than 84 at Texas or 18 at Iowa State, I'd like to see them. I don't know if those guys are on that list. So, you know, not to take anything away from David Sills, who's a great player. You know, Gary Jennings is a pretty good player, and Marcus Sims has made plays. And, um, you know, Texas Tech's got a couple pretty good ones. Uh, Oklahoma's got, shoot, they got two really good ones that we'll be dealing with next week. But uh, this Wallace kid came out of nowhere, and shoot, he had 250 against Texas or whatever it was. So. Um, it's deep. It usually is, you know. And people were talking about the quarterback play not being very good prior to this year in the Big 12. I'm like, you just don't know who they are yet. It just kind of came out to being pretty true as well. And nobody knew who Purdy was in Iowa State, and, you know how good this Cornelius kid is. And nobody would have guessed that before the year as well. So it's Big 12 football. It's fun, you know. It, the offenses are, are pretty good. Quarterback plays pretty good. Or somebody's got to catch all those balls. And, and um, it's as good as I've seen it. Probably wouldn't have thought that prior to the year, but nobody just really knew who they were yet. Again, on the topic of scout teams and linebackers that make a name there, how does um, how does Callum look? And what? Good, really good. You know, Jake Abbott's doing a good job. He got playing snaps for the first time last Saturday. <clears throat> you know, so in in Callum's red shirt and you know, really doing a good job. Uh, for us, uh, you know, Lusane is a scout team guy that does a good job getting some special teams reps as well. Um, you know, Ferns was back last week. It was good to see him back in, 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 in a uniform and ran down on <coughs> punt team and punt return team. He'll get more reps this week, played a few snaps of defense. We should get calls, you know, who's in that four-game window now. Um, Plus, he's a week better, so we'll see how he looks today and tomorrow as far as we get reps out of him. Um, does that answer your question? No. Callum, that's all I was asking about. Uh, you uh, got we'll talk about him in May. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Coach. All right, appreciate it.